Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Vertigo here in my Mightyana onesie. Uh, <laughs> in case you were wondering what I am actually wearing. Because I've worn this for a few videos now. Um, yeah, today guys, we are going to be releasing my uh, Grayscale Plus pack, is what I'm going to be calling it. Um, it was based on my default edit called Grayscale, which I've already released quite a while ago now. And it's basically the same concept event. Um, but with some upgrades to it that we will get to. Um, so this is mainly a UHC PvP pack. Um, due to the fact that we got highlighted ores here. Um, if you're wondering why you would want highlighted ores, um, if we look down here, you can see this lava. Now, if I was running along the cave and there was a lava lake here, you wouldn't be able to see that highlighted part, the diamond, redstone, and all that there. It would look like normal stone. So highlight source is actually quite useful there because you can then see that part of the ore, which is why I decided to include it. Um, also, in this pack was my first time uh, experimenting with animated textures, um, which and this the results were this apple I got here. Um, it kind of goes from a light, a dark blue to a light blue and back again, and it's it's kind of like a pulsating effect. I've got the traditional old clear glass, um, which, well, I just mainly say is necessary for my texture pack. And, yeah, I kind of overlooked that, didn't I? No, you're not going anywhere. You're going to stay right there. You're a pain in the bugger, you are. Go away. No. no. Okay. <laughs> a bit of interruption there. Um, also... I use this pack on many different servers, including Badline, where I sometimes do some potion 1v1s. So I made the two potion types here, a throwable and drinkable. Uh, I just made the outline black, um, just because I felt like it's it. I need to get rid of that particle there, but I probably never will. Um, um, yeah, I just made it black, um, just to keep it to the theme of grayscale and everything. And let's just go into the tools. Yeah, the tools first. Um, so all of the tools have this dark black heel on it. Um, the axe and the pick normally have a little wooden bit on the end. But I've replaced that. Just have the um, handle on top of the heel kind of thing. As you can see here, they look fairly nice. Um, and I like them. Um, and then for the swords, it's a little bit different. <coughs> so first of all, the swords are shorter than normal swords. And, I don't know, I just like him a lot. Um, so yeah, this is the wood sword. The stone. The iron. Gold. And diamond. Once again, wood. Stone. Iron. Gold. And diamond. Uh, those are all the swords. Um, now we're going to look at the other tools. So again with the animated textures <coughs> um, there with the apple. I also experimented on it with the bow and with um, bow indicators. So as you can see the, the green, yellow and red move up and down the bow like this. And yeah, I think it looks really cool. Uh, you can see the hip, the particles there um, for the bow. Um, as they f fly through the air. And yeah. Um, that's the bow. The fishing rod is just a grey fishing rod. To keep with the theme of the grey scale. Um, it's just a normal bobber. I didn't really get around to do anything with it. Um, yeah. I'm really happy with the flint steel though. It's You can obviously tell with the steel part. But not so much with the flint. There's a massive contrast between bright and dark with the two. Um, just to represent how you make grey, like with black and white. Um, I made the fire a white fire, like so. And it's also a low fire, um, which you typically see in PvP texture packs in general. Um, and yeah, as that can be resembled when I'm in the lava like this. As you see, the fire does not get in your way whatsoever. Um, the uh, sharpness particles are the 
these um, light blue diamonds you can see here. If you do them both together, it kind of creates a cool effect because you've got the black and the blue coming off, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, as you can see, the hot bar is the hot bar. If I just go into game mode zero, uh, you can see this is where it stiffers because the reason why this is grayscale is because some of the GUI stuff is 32 by 32 rather than 16 by 16, including the particles which you um, which you saw um, a second ago. Um, yeah. Um, so like the hearts and the carrots down there are clearly 32 by 32. These inventories are 32 by 32. Um, and yeah, it, I don't know. That, that's just the main thing I wanted to upgrade it because some people don't like 32 by 32 packs, and neither do I. So I wanted to keep to that with some improvements where I was happy to make them. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed using this pack. Um, yeah, I'm not going to ask for you to download or anything. Because I make these for myself and just for the fun of it. I don't really expect people to download them and use them. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.